Hey, what's happening? It's Stephanie Stallworth, the ATL Traffic Lady. Hey, I'm off for the week. Woo, woo, finally, right? You know, I, I do the traffic stuff in the morning and then I teach um, sometimes midday and night classes, right? And never the twain are meeting in terms of being off of both at the same time, but this week, <laughs> I'm off of the radio for this week and I'm off of uh, teaching for this week so I finally have no thing that I must do a few things you know like a meeting or whatever but I'm not working either of my two uh, positions thankfully get a little break right we need a break everybody needs a little break now I'm not getting to go anywhere on vacation this week unfortunately but you know I'll do that soon but in the meantime I'll get to regroup Get my focus back, uh, set a few things up that I haven't really had time to work on and, you know, just get into some me time and some, some self-care, some wellness, some uh, how we flow dot today stuff. <laughs> so we're looking for you to join my community, how we flow dot today, how we flow dot today. It is uh, a website and it is um, a community of like-minded individuals who are interested in self-care, in wellness, and the art of well-being, and um, just being our best selves, right? So uh, the the origin of it happened in the pandemic when there was so much, so much loss, so much, um, you know, the isolation, so much of everything. That took a lot away from a lot of people in the pandemic. I was just feeling a little overwhelmed, right? A little overdone. And um, I just figured, I was like, I can't be the only one who feels this way. And then we come out of the pandemic and, um, you know, my mom was sick for uh, most of last year un unexpectedly. And more unexpectedly than anything, she passed away. God called her home in uh, the end of October. She wasn't that kind of sick, so we weren't ready for that at all. So, you know, I would talk about, oh, I've been in my slump, I've been in the slump. But um, God said it's time to come out of the slump, and that's what I'm doing. So, I've been looking forward to this week for so long to not have layers on layers of work and jobs and things to go to. So, now it's just like focus on myself and, um, you know, my house and, you know, all the things that are Stephanie. Took my youngest off to undergrad a couple of weeks ago, beginning of August. So um, I have all three sons in college now, so that's a different feeling. So I'm just trying to get used to that thing. And, um, you know, one still lives here, he commutes to school. But still, just to uh, release that whole um, the high school kid. Uh, age range time when you know hurry up the bus is coming and you know so many little things to worry about to get them through high school so now you know we got a whole new set of things to get them uh, through undergrad and all of that and embracing and looking forward to all that goes with that but this is the first time in mm -hmm, let's see 20 21 30, first time in like uh, I don't know 20 years that I haven't had a kid going to school or even longer than that for nursery school, <laughs> uh, daycare, or whatever. Uh, first kid was born in, in 99. So ever since then, till now, it's just been, you know, kid stuff, mom stuff, marriage stuff at the time. And now it's me stuff again. I mean, you know, of course, you never stop. I mean, I still call him my dad, even today. But. So that part never ends, but it's a different feel. It's not like it's a day-to-day -day, uh, you know, raising up of them. It's, it's, um, I probably talk to my youngest son several times a day, every day. <laughs> He's calling, get things figured out, situated, and, and all of that. And there was one day last week that I didn't hear from him at all. I mean, after like, mm, I think he finished, let's see, he, started on the, he went there on the 6th, so that's the 13th, 20th, 26th. Seventh is today, so it's the third. Uh, three weeks ago today, okay. Three weeks ago today, I took I took him there. So I heard from him all the first week, every day, a couple times a day. Second week, a couple times a day, every day. Um, most of this week, every day, except maybe oh, it was Thursday. I didn't hear from him on Thursday, and 
I guess that means he's settling in. Heard from him again on, well, I said you remember Friday, I called him Friday to send him some money. So, um, but yeah, so I think he's settling in, he's getting to the routine and all of that. And so that's a good feeling, you know, that's that whole big adjustment when you're out there on your own, like understanding all that goes with that. And it's a lot, you know. So I think he says his friends are having a really great time at, at their school. And he hasn't really socialized too, too much just yet. So he's just trying to find his space. And, you know, focus on work because it's a whole nother thing, you know. This is work you... This is school you pay for, <laughs> you know. It's not the free, appropriate public education, the FAPE, you know, that they have out there uh, for your public schools, if, if your kids are in public school. Uh, if you're in private school, you already know about paying that tuition. So, you know, it's like, okay, every time you're not in class, it's going to cost you blah, 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 amount of money. So we used to talk about the school, I, the college I teach at. They used to tell the students how I think they're missing, like, they're wasting two hundred dollars a day every time they don't go to class. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh! When you when you monetize it and um, quantify it in that way, it becomes a whole uh, another attention getter <laughs> for you. Like two hundred a day. Oh, I better show up in class. So I mean, some still don't show up in class. Everybody don't do what they do, and, and sometimes they can't because things happen. But. Um, yeah, so I'm in like a new weird space for myself. I'm like, you know, when I would normally be spending time, hey, you know, what's going on? What are you doing? Hey, come downstairs, da, da, da. Or let's talk about whatever, or he wants to talk about whatever. He's not here to talk about those things, but he still was calling. So um, I'm in that transition space. And then soon he's gonna have his own, you know, wherewithal there at school. And then I'll just be in like, you know, my, my youngest son, I only hear from him if he really needs something. And then he'll call and we'll talk or whatever. Or I'll call him and we'll talk. But it's not like every day, right? I know he's good unless he's calling me. <laughs> they might need something. But, you know, so he's one that went out to fend for himself and go do his own thing. And the oldest one, he went out. He couldn't wait to get out. And now he's back at the house. Um, you know, he didn't want to be on campus. He'd rather just commute, so... Um, that's what he's doing. And then um, the youngest, I don't know where he's going to fall in the layering process of, of how we do uh, for undergrad, but he's taking his studies very seriously. Uh, I'm grateful for that. And um, he's not out partying yet. So hopefully he'll, you know, keep that good balance. We'll talk about a lot of that, you know, in the past couple of weeks, how, how to manage it. I know my first semester, I did not manage it well. <laughs> I got a 1.5 GPA my first semester freshman. Not because I wasn't smart. Not because I didn't go to class. I just didn't turn in any homework. And I ended up with a 1.5. But I paid for that 1.5. Because I said, I'm graduating on time. I'm graduating in four years. So I found out that, um, you know, you know, going up through school, uh, primary school, middle school, high school, you take the classes they schedule you for, and that's it. You can't say, I'm, I'm dropping a class. One person said, oh, yeah, I dropped so-and-so class. I'm like, you can drop a class? Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, I dropped that class. I'm like, oh, shucks, I'm going to drop a class. So I went from 15 credits down to 12. And of the four little classes I had, I only got a 1.5. So I, I wasn't doing anything. It was too much having fun, partying, and all of that. And so I did not have the balance. Like, it's, it's a, it's a work-life balance. It's a, it's a work-hard, play-hard balance that I didn't learn right away. And then I paid for it. Um, by taking 18 credits a semester for second semester freshman, semester sophomore, second semester sophomore, first semester junior, second semester junior, first semester senior, second semester senior, 18 credits every time to bring that 1.5 up to, you know, 3.5 by the time I graduated, 3. Point whatever. So I had to get like a 3.75, a 3.8, 3.9 every semester from there on out. So I had fun that first semester, but I paid dearly <laughs> for it. And the work ethic I had to put in in order to graduate in four years, I don't want to be on a five-year plan or any other plan or a dropout plan. So, um, you know, I put the work in. But I paid for that. Fun. I had a lot of fun, but I paid for it. So then I learned the balance. And, and, and the thing that got me, I sometimes I tell the story. My best friend, Lisa. Hey, Lee. What's up, girl? Um, she was a business major or accounting. Oh, she's business. Maybe business or accounting major. Maybe accounting. And so... 
we went to all this I just met her we went to all the same fun things we did all the same stuff and she came out with a 3.5 GPA and I'm like how do you get 3.5 we're at all the same parties we're all the same everything I don't understand it and um, I don't know it's got 3.5 I'm like okay why didn't I get a 3.5 you know if we were partying so much or whatever but then I found the key I thought about it I'm like Oh, you know what? When we had classes, we would go to class. I didn't miss class. I always went to class. And um, we would come back to the dorms. And, um, you know, you're chilling out for the afternoon. And then getting ready to do whatever was happening later. And I would go to her room. And while I'm in her room talking to her, she's in her room talking to me. But she's also doing her homework at the time. And so I was like, oh, while I'm talking to you, you're doing your homework and I'm not doing any homework. And that was, that was the problem. So I'm like, okay, so I got to go to class, then I got to come home, do the homework, and then you can go have all the fun you want when you know that your work is done. So I've told them that story, the kids about that story many a time. So they already know, don't come home with a 1.5 <laughs> because you party too much and you did not take your studies seriously because that's what you're there for so um, my young lad is taking his studies quite seriously so far so let's pray that that uh, spirit of excellence continues amen amen so but yeah I'm in like this weird transition space into what am I gonna do with the rest of my life now right so you know we'll see I'm accepting applications <laughs> for any suitors <laughs> if you're interested. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have a lot more free time uh, for myself now. So I'm excited about that. Ready for love, you know. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. But happy Sunday to you. I'm going to spend this week uh, focusing on me. What's that song? Focus on me. I'm going to focus on me um, this week and what things I need to do either for myself, for my business, things I just don't have the time or energy to do when I'm in my regular work mode that really do need some attention. So that's what I'm up to this week. It's a staycation. I'll take a vacation maybe over the holidays when I, uh, I'm off again. But uh, for now, staycation, staycation, and um, no getting up at the middle of the night to go to work. So. I could sleep in a little bit. Maybe some of the dark circles and bags will go away. I might look lovely by the end of the week. But then a week later, I'll be back to looking tired again. But that's okay. You know, I work hard, and I'm going ready to play hard. So anyone want to play? <laughs> Let's play. Let's have some fun. Um, what was I going to tell you? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Let's see. Not really doing too, too much. I'm going to be looking for some new content creators for the flow. As you know, it's your content creator's uh, paradise in the flow. I'm happy to uh, partner with Reach One Communications and Executive Producer Sean Garvey on his tonight, tonight, in fact, tonight, live tonight at 9 p.m. on the flow. Go to theflow.lightcast.com, go to live channel one, I think it is. Live stream channel number one, the first live stream channel. Not the, not the first one, I guess it's the second one. So second live stream channel, go there and watch at 9 p.m. tonight the show called Soul Dates Live. It's executive producer Sean Garvey. I think it's got a new host also, a young lady. Uh, but it's a dating show. And it's a dating show that is centered around your tastes in music, music genres and, and, and all of that compatibility for music, I mean. You can be with someone and they like the craziest music different from you and your musical taste you know you're in the car like not liking what they're hearing or or, or they don't like what you're listening to so <laughs> but when you can agree on the music sometimes that's a good that's a good you know starting point anyway I mean, no relationships depend on music alone however this is an, a unique way for people to be matched is by uh, music genre and see what compatibility is about other things as well so it's called soul dates live it starts at nine i think it's nine to eleven something like that and so typically three daters will come on 
and try to get win the date with the main dater. So um, sometimes there's only two daters, and sometimes there's three or four. Sometimes four, I think I've seen. So uh, and then they're panelists, and then they talk about different stuff, and and it's all live. And, and if you want to be on Soul Dates Live Sunday night with Sean Garvey, then I think it says go to Soul Date. Send an email to souldateslive at gmail.com. Souldateslive at gmail.com. And that is Sean Garvey, who's one of our great content creators uh, on there. Sean Garvey also, uh, I work with him at the radio station. And <clears throat> he works for WAOK 1380, the voice of the community. And he has a Wednesday night show called uh, The Mental Space. The mental space it's all about mental health and, and, and well-being and, and dealing with issues right and um, it's an important show because in our community a lot of times people don't want to deal with the mental health piece oh just deal with it talk it up ask God this and that but it's so very important and again thinking about how we flowed out today and coming out of the pandemic and how people were um, you know, feeling so low or so lost or so, you know, a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of all those things. Um, and um, the mental space, Sean's show has been dealing with those things in amazing ways. So it's him and he has some panelists on and he'll have uh, mental health experts on and guests to come on and talk about different things every week. So that's, uh, I think, Wednesday evening from 7 to 9 p.m. We stream it live on The Flow. And he's also on WAOK, 1380 AM. He's also on uh, Beat Break Radio with it and Beat Break Podcast um, thing and uh, all of his other platforms, SeanGarvey.com, I think. And so, yeah, the mental space. So if you're having some concerns on how you're feeling, uh, your mental health, you don't quite feel like yourself anymore, and you don't have motivation to do the things you used to or sometimes like me I just need to lay in the bed I can't take it today right so uh, I'm in a slump you know those things but they'll talk about that stuff and have experts on it'll help you and I think it's going to start offering some products and resources to also take you to a further uh, space in a better way um, with a lot of these um, issues that people come up with so um, it's really important programming and I'm happy to have it uh, as part of the flow lineup also. So yeah, Soul Dates Live, that's fun, woohoo! And then the mental space, they laugh and stuff, but it's some serious conversations about, you know, what really goes on. You can call into the show, um, you know, and there's just a lot that, um, that gives in terms of a voice for what is unvoiced uh, a lot of times in our community. So. I'm thankful for that. Glad we're partnering with Sean Garvey, executive producer of many, many shows, uh, including that. I think he's got the Unemployment Podcast uh, series and some other things he's starting up. So, you know, we're rocking with Sean Garvey. He's rocking with us. We cross-promote each other. So check him out at SeanGarvey.com, I think it is. Uh, BeatBreakRadio.com, Reach One Communications, Reach One Podcast Network. Um, you know, he's, he's mogulizing like I am, you know, we getting that, that mogul thing in, in, in broadcasting. And so I'm doing the streaming part and he's doing a lot of different programs and, you know, I'm about to pull up some new programming of my own. And so there's a lot of excitement going on today. Now there is a TV series I'm about to be in, you know, shout out to, uh, Two Tone and Glow Way, you guys are uh, asked me to be part of the show coming up and I'm playing a, an interesting role. One that I fit uniquely in with and then one that is, and part of it is completely not like me at all. So it should be very interesting uh, capturing the persona of this character uh, in, this, in this TV series. So I'm excited about that. Ooh, ooh, so lots going on, you know, some really great things happening. God has been so good to me. I cannot complain. I'm telling you. Um, again, I tell you, we're going all the way up in 2023. And here we're in August, September, October, November, December. We got four months left. Left. So what are you going to do? <laughs> are you going to come check me out and, and see what's up? You know what? So, um, yeah, it's going to be great. 
uh, I'm looking forward to everything that God has promised me and yeah why not um, so it's gonna be good it's gonna be good um, yeah so I'm excited about this show so we have a photo shoot later on today I gotta get in and get myself ready for that um, a cast photo shoot so we're looking forward to that um, what else what else what else what else mm, a bunch of new programs are coming out partnering with uh, Meet Me in the City, Freddie Rio. He's got some programs we're going to start working on. Um, who else? Oh, there's a bunch of people. I'm so excited. This is good, you know. So, The Flow. I'm revamping the website, so theflowtelevision.com is down. You know, I'm revamping it. So, if you look at the website, it's not up. But, the web app is up, theflow.lightcast.com, where you can watch all the programs. Shouts out to at Trap Pastor Slaughter, Reverend Dr. F. Keith, Keith, I will say Keith, <laughs> Keith Slaughter, uh, F. Keith Slaughter, and the beloved church community of Atlanta, the beloved community church of Atlanta. They are streaming live with us every Sunday. They're 100% authentic real life church service right and it is uh uniquely rooted in in our culture and i, I appreciate it and i love it so you got to check them out every sunday at 11 a.m on uh the flow live stream channel let's see it's the first second i think it's the third channel down for us so if you go to our web app you'll see live one's going to be flashing live and then some others will be sitting there so Sunday on the one, two, third channel across, then you're going to find um, them streaming their church service. So excited. Oh, and shouts out to Pastor Tony Knight. Woo -woo. Big ups to Pastor Tony Knight, who's going to be elevated to bishop. What's up? <laughs> Pastor Tony Knight elevated to bishop this October. Uh, he'll be over, uh, I forget how many churches he's going to be over, but um, I'm excited for him. And he's just a steady, nice Bible teacher, um, just a, really just a good person, just just nice to listen to, he'll talk to you, and he'll do a little teaching, and do a little talking, a little teaching, and he and, and, and First Lady Leslie Knight, oh, they're amazing. I love them so very much. And again, thank God for the uh, blessing of the elevation for soon to be Bishop Tony Knight, currently Pastor Tony Knight of Christ Community Church in Vineland, New Jersey. Love you, Pastor. You can check him out on Facebook too, uh, but he's on the flow. So uh, uh, go to flow.likecast.com and search uh, Pastor Tony Knight or Pastor Tony. All right. So we got that going. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, 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 yeah. I got, um, let's see, Danny's coming on with some original content. He's got, a lot, he's got a lot of talents. First of all, he's got the voice of life. Hello. This is Danny. He's got like one of those amazing broadcast, deep broadcast voices. And uh, also he's got artistic talent that he uh, writes and draws and creates uh, a lot of superhero comic books and, and I think graphic novels maybe and some other content that he's going to be coming on and make a call with him probably when I get done talking to you and get him on board. So yes, watch for Danny and his uh, great content coming up. I'm trying to think who else is coming up. Oh, yes. I have a whole... Um, Another channel of exclusive content coming very soon. Um, shouts out to Makeem Henderson, who is going to uh, program this channel for me. I'm not sure what we're going to call it yet, but it's with a lot of uh, the uh, new and great artists out there with great music. And uh, they're going to bring themselves and their, their folks on. And he's going to craft and curate this great music experience the channel with music and interviews and and um, all kinds of content that is for you know what are y'all gen gen z's gen z's millennials all of those right 
And so it's going to be really great. So um, getting that young perspective on it. There's things that I can craft and curate. And there's things that these others can craft and curate that are uh, in different, you know, different generations. So I got something for every generation uh, on the flow. But yeah, so we're getting ready to hook up and talk about what that's going to look like. And um, some content will be free still. Some will uh, be exclusive access to some of the creatives uh, content and intellectual property. And it's going to be great. We're going to have some uh, live recordings. Um, you know, with artists in studio, kind of like a, uh, like the tiny desk, kind of like the, the, the verses, kind of like, you know, all of those things we saw through the pandemic, right? We're going to have a lot of that, like really intimate um, music space. Uh, it's going to be great. So, um, yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I met these amazing people with gaming content. Uh, and the educational edge to it and we're going to work with them to uh, build up our gaming channel to flow free play so matter of fact, I think they have an event this weekend so I'm going to talk to them this week um, met them eh, about three weeks ago and so looking forward to working with them um, they got a great setup of what they're doing and a whole heap of content that I'm looking forward to adding to the flow. So, yes, we're going all the way up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, God allowed me to have the flow, be the one to present the flow to uh, everybody. And I'm grateful. I mean, it kind of just dropped straight out of God's heaven, <laughs> the way he laid it on me. And I'm so excited about it. Um, so since I'm out of my slump, look for a lot of great things. Uh, in the flow a lot of new live programs a lot of um, maybe some game shows not just video gaming but game shows right uh, some things that are contests uh, some entrepreneurial st stuff some mentoring stuff some um, online course stuff shopping live shopping live shopping oh my my first broadcast job was at QVC. I always tell the story. First broadcast job, QVC. QVC, you know, televised shopping. And so televised shopping is in my blood. So you know if I have a network, I'm going to have uh, shopping. So we have live shopping on our live channels 24 hours a day. If you have products that you'd like to sell in a live shopping format, even if it's pre-recorded, it'd be a like live. Uh, and you want to sell your product, demonstrate it, um, have models wear it. I mean, everybody's got little merch on their IG or the bottom of their YouTube page, just static images of who knows what. Nobody's going to buy that unless they already know your brand really well. But when you add that whole televised shopping uh, part to it, um, you know, I used to model the clothes and the jewelry and all that stuff and the hair and the products and whatever, fitness equipment. Uh, that's why I had my six pack then. I'm gonna get that back. But you know, y you add a production element to it that brings it to life, and then you know you sell features and benefits and help people understand why they could use this product and offer payment options that are affordable. Bringing in the easy payments or what have you, uh, different ways to pay for stuff these days, um, and you can just click and buy. Click and buy, live shopping. It's a billion dollar industry overseas and we're bringing it to the flow. So yes, 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 yes. So I'll be planning all of this, laying it all out this week while I am working on myself and my businesses. So I'm excited. But first I'm fully excited that tomorrow morning my alarm clock will not be ringing it for something in the morning. <laughs> and I won't be up at 2 a.m., hopefully. Um, just up, because I'm up. Because I know I have to get up. But I probably will still wake up. Uh, you know, God talks to me in the middle of the night, too. So, you know, I'm up anyway. But hopefully I can sleep sleep like a baby for at least a couple of, couple of, <laughs> a couple of late mornings. But we shall see, right? You know, your body just wakes up anyway. But all right, I've been yap, yap, yapping long enough. I am so excited for you about your future, all that God is bringing into your life and that you're finally open to. 
I'm uh, so thrilled to be able to chat with you again and I am ready, ready, ready to say, ready like Freddie to rock real steady. I'm ready to get her done and <laughs> get her done. So um, I'm trying to think, anything else I want to tell you? Mm, I don't know. If I think of something, I'll come back. But I'm going to set my studio up here a little bit, uh, some extra stuff here in the house to get everything just right. You'll be seeing me going live and doing a lot of interviews and stuff here pretty soon. So, so much to do, so much to do. And it's time, right? So, um, yeah, that's the flow in the flow. You know, I used to bring you the flow in the flow every Sunday. So I guess this is my latest flow in the flow. I'll put this on, on the flow so you guys can see it on there too. Hey, if you're watching on the flow, again, you can, watch, you can download the flow app on Roku, on Fire TV, on Apple TV on your iOS app, on your Android app store. You can uh, download it on uh, our web app, which is not even download. Just go to your web browser and type in the theflow.lightcast.com. Theflow.lightcast, lightcast.com. And yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, if you're a church and you need some more platforms to put your stuff on, yeah, you're on the Facebook and the Instagram and the YouTube, um, why don't you stream it on the flow? You can go live here right along with the other ones. All you need is my is a stream key and, you know, the RTMP uh, address. And if you're already streaming to those places, you can stream right to the flow exactly like Dr. Slaughter does with Beloved Community Church of Atlanta every Sunday. So you can stream uh, any and all of your programs, your conferences, your any of that stuff. And let's say you wanted to have a special presentation that was behind maybe a pay-per-view wall. Like people had to register and pay you to watch the content. You could do that. I have that. I have pay-per-view. I have uh, subscription level services if someone wants that for their content. Um, and, you know, I have all those 10 video live stream channels. I got 10 audio live stream channels. I got the um, 10 video on demand channels, 10 audio on demand channels, fully loaded. And soon I'll be going up to, to double those numbers in terms of channels, uh, 2020, 20, 20, 20 live, 20 video, 20 audio, and more. So there's more to come. There's more that God requires of you. Will your heart and soul say yes? That's what I need to know. All right, you guys, it's how we flow dot today. It's how we flow dot today TV. It's uh, my product line of um, wellness and, and the art of well being products. Uh, how we flow dot isagenics dot com. I S A G E N I X dot com. That goes really well with how we flow dot today. There's who can work from home dot me. Me, I can work from home. You can work from home. Uh, if you need to work from home, this is a great opportunity to become a virtual call center in the comfort of your own home. Work hours that you can work, you know, within scheduled option hours and do customer service for major corporations, cable companies, uh, online retailers, brick and mortar retailers, um, roadside assistance, uh, cruise lines. All these people are outsourcing their customer service uh, and and that's where you can get in as a, uh, you know, a, a 1099 in person, right? So you'll be independent contractor under my independent business for Call of the Flow. So my son is heading out to work. I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to say hi to him. Love you guys. Welcome to the Flow. See ya. God bless. Bye.